What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care because this is the menu. Yeah, well done Hawk Guide viewers, you've worked out that this isn't actually any gameplay of the Wind Waker. But I'm on this little screen because I want to show off a couple of things. First of all, when I, I have to block out the first file because spoilers! When you finish the game completely, you will get a second new game option where it's basically, I don't know what the name is for this. But basically, it's just like you start the game again, but you get some little extra things. For example, Link's little blue jacket at the beginning of the game has a different pattern on the back, and you get the deluxe pictograph at the very beginning, so you can take colourful pictures of your sister. That's not creepy at all. Also, I want to point out that the background of this shows a blue sky, and actually, this sky changes depending on... Whoa, it's gone grey, or is it... No, it's... Oh, it's sunsetting. Yeah, so basically, I thought the background would change in real time to, like, the time that you played the game, but it's not sunsetting in real life. In fact, it's actually very grey and rainy and just great British weather. Anyway, let's keep going. On with a Let's Play. Okay, so now I'm back where we were last time, or at least where I was supposed to be last time. So, in the last episode, I believe we got this Deku Leaf, and we need to use that to fly over here. Right into this arrow-shaped plane of grass. Yeah, they couldn't have made that any more obvious. Now, if you look in this grass, you will find these little jars which heal up your magic bar, which is what you need to fly with the Deku Leaf, because it takes magic to ride a leaf. I, I can see the logic in that. Anyway, let's go through this door. And oh boy, I remember this one in my practice fight. What are you looking at? There's something over there? No, there's nothing over there. Anyway, I know many people, and I myself included, have probably mentioned this, but this game is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Wow, I mean, it's like the menu was just copying the real time of the game or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to use the wind's requiem to change the direction of the wind towards the little island on the right, which is this way. Because we need to go over to the Forbidden Woods over there to save little Makar, who we haven't even met yet. We're saving some stranger. Well, I guess that teaches kids to do good deeds. But anyway, oh boy, no. This this doesn't feel right. This does this doesn't feel safe. This this doesn't feel No way. Oh. We can't get there in one run. We have to go over there first. So let's go. What? It won't let me use my thingy. Am I out of am I out I'm out of magic. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely gonna get it now. Except I didn't take in to consult the tornado over there, but it looks pretty safe to me. Yeah. No, no, no. What are you doing, Link? Link, 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 Link. Please don't. No. What song is this? I'm sitting. I don't even know. Anyway, somehow, like, somehow this works. I don't really get it. I mean, it looks like. Wait, let me see the... Okay, turn around and he's like... Oh, no, I guess that is pretty high up. Because I always thought it was... It looks like they're, like, on the same level. And there's no way you'd, like... I don't know. Just... It seems really out there to actually make this jump. It's quite a leap of faith, even though it's more of a glide. Anyway, what do you have to say, little plant man? Man, man. Nice job, swordsman. It looks like you've already mastered your deku leaf. You're a quick study. The first thing you should do is cut down... Is cut the grass around to here to replenish your magic power. The entrance to the Fabian Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our Forest Haven. In order to get up to such a high place, you have to catch the swirling updraft. Can you see the updrafts, Horseman? The updrafts around here move swiftly. You have to time your job just right so that the updraft will feel your updraft and carry you into the updraft, giving you the lift you updraft. Once you're floating on high, just let the wind take you to the entrance of the updraft. <sighs> I don't know why I kept saying updraft there. I mean, it just... The way I was saying it while I, he was talking was just... I oh, know. Caught my attention enough to repeat it until it got very annoying. Anyway, we need to change the wind direction again to face towards the Forbidden Woods. And now we have to wait for the updraft to come all the way around. Yay. Right, right, right. Now I've got this ready. Whoa! 
Oh, you just... Alright, you got... I pressed Y before I jumped, didn't I? That's what I did. Alright. There we go. Now, let me in there. 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 Dude. Dude, seriously? Seriously. Come on. I'm lit... Really? You're not gonna let me... You're not gonna let me go, are you? Okay, fine. I'll just drop. Okay, I gotta go ahead of it. I'm learning my stuff. In the most slowest process ever. Thank goodness the Wii U makes things go faster by like animations of actually doing the Wind's Requiem. But anyway, here we have new enemies. P-Hats. They're like flying enemies that just sort of get in your way. And don't touch them or you will fall to your death. But we're fine. Anyway, let's go get our magic replenished, please. Thank you. Good God. Doing this on my practice file was a nightmare. At least I learned how to use the Deku Leaf, though. Bye. Oh, no. Where are you going? I can't even see him anymore. They probably died. There's no chance that they're going to get back their wings and fly up again. Nah. Welcome to the Forbidden Woods. Now, I admittedly don't really remember this very well, so I might not do everything perfect, but hey, that's the power of, that's, you know, with the power of editing, it probably won't be too bad for you. Anyway, here we have some green choo-choos, who are, oh, I thought I was going to get hit there, but I'll be like, oh man, I'm a failure as a Zelda player. But no, I'm pretty good. Well, as much as I could be, let's open this chest. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Wow, you got the dungeon map already. And let me look at this. Oh boy, we have four floors and a basement, so it's going to be pretty big. Yeah, well then again, what do you expect? I mean, we're progressing through the game. Of course it's going to get bigger. Yeah, that's what she said. Anyway, green choo-choo, you're dead. I'm going to pick up more of your... No, that didn't kill you? Okay, you know, you're going to say, it's not green, it's actually purple. But you're colorblind, Daz, so I thought you would be. How do you even know the difference between the Pikmin anyway? Nah, yeah, well. I really shouldn't mention Pikmin. I, I swear I've mentioned Pikmin in every game I've played so far. Even if there is just two. You know. What I mean. Oh well. I'll, it'll, it'll probably be a habit that will eventually die. Unless you don't want it to die. Then it will die quicker. Anyway, come on. Free Choo Choo. Get out of here. Good. Thank you. How many of you are there? Jesus. Anyway, here we have a Deku Nut, I believe. It's pretty big big to be honest. I mean, look, that's, is that, oh no, it's, it's not quite bigger than Link. It almost is, but not quite. And here we have a new mini mechanic for the door. If you go close to it, it shuts and you can't hurt it in this form. So you'd have to hit it while it's open from a distance with a Deku nut. Magic, is it not? Uh, well, yeah, there we go. Hello, Baka Seed, or is it Bokababa seed. Probably Baka. Anyway, no, because that's stupid in Japanese. Oh, never mind. What we need to do here is get our Deku Leaf and fly along using these Boko seeds. I'll just go with Boko seeds, yeah. Baka seed sounds offensive somehow. Anyway, whew, up here we have a new bar. More green choo choos! Oh, that was cool. Link did a backflip. It's like, nope, I'm not dealing with this. What we need to do is we probably need to throw it towards this door, and boom, we've unlocked the way. But, there's more stuff down there. So hold on, I don't remember how to do it myself. So I'll just jump down, that'll help. Oh, I was supposed to use my deck leaf there. Now down here we have more choose, and you. If I use the graphic hook, I get your bokka seed. So wait, these are bokka seed? Those are bokka... You know, I did my research on the enemy names, but I apparently still don't remember them. I know the actual enemy enemy, enemy bits, but not these little bits that aren't quite enemies, but they can be in... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's just go get this green choo-choo's more and more of them. Now over here, you'll see there's a chest covered in the plant that you have to hit at a range. Thing is, though, we can't open it because we don't have anything ranged. What do we? Let me have a look. Uh... No, I tried with the bomb plant all the way up there, but that's incredibly difficult, and I don't think you can do it anyway. And wow, there's a lot of choose in here. <sighs> so I think we're just, this is something we're just going to have to come back for later. And if I'm wrong, whoops. Back on up again. 
Who would have thought? Now where's my magic? I need some magic, even though I've only lost a tiny inkling of magic. What? Is this grass seriously just gonna be stubborn enough to not give me any magic? It is! Come on! There's like... 20... Okay. You're my single last... You are my last hope. Wow. Okay. Bye. Okay, here we have another new mechanic. See these little... Oh, no, wrong thing. These little wind turbines. Blow them with your deck leaf and it makes this bridge move. Yeah. It actually makes kind of logical sense, except the fact that they're not connected to anything. They just spin there, so it shouldn't really affect the bridge. But anyway, you could also propel yourself just, you know, without having to spin, but you can't push it towards you because it pushes away. Anyway, more pea hats Now with these guys, I generally just like to use the deck relief because then that paralyzes them, but then you can just slice them and ooh, golden feather. Very nice. But there are other items you'll get later on which are even more effective. Probably. I mean, it's not that I would know or anything because obviously I haven't gone past this point because you haven't seen me gone past this point, so it doesn't exist, right? Yeah. And there's a bunch of... Did you just... What was that? You just decided to, like, fake me out and disappear or something? I don't... What, what was the... What was the plan there? Actually, then again, if you were to f go back into your little seed, I probably would be able to hurt you because I can't attack that. Right? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes carrying is the best option, apparently. Hmm. I'm, put, I'm putting too much logic, lo logic? logic into this. So, what we need to do now... Let's look around because I didn't take a good attention to this room because I wasn't paying attention. Looks like we have massive trees that we need to climb. Did we did we miss a bridge or something? Hmm. Oh, this thing right here, it's available. It, it, it didn't... I think it would be better if these came with a sound effect when they like come to life because I just thought it was... I don't know, I just... I overlooked it. Oh well. Now what we need to do is we have this door which we cannot get through because we need another deck leaf. Though you can slice off its little vines, but you need to take off all of them at the same time for it to die. Not gonna happen. But something else that we can do is we could drop down here. Maybe. I might be wrong about this. No, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And here we have a little crevice with a secret chest. You got a red rupee! That's 20 rupees! What a pleasant surprise! And here we have Deku Nuts, but I don't think we can carry these up with us, can we? No, we can't. Oh well. Let's just go and get our bridge over so we can go get that Deku Leaf, and then we can go and get through this door, and then we can probably end the episode here, because I think this is getting a little bit long, even though we haven't really made too much progress, though I guess we started the Forbidden Wood, so something must be good, right? Yeah. So let's just keep on going. Ugh, it always scares me when we have to jump off that little bit because the bridge is still swaying to and fro. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe it will just drop you a little bit too short. But no, it's okay. All right, then we just need to blow our way back. Looks like when he lifts up the thing over his shoulders. Oh, that's cute. Anyway, wow, we are we are jumbling sideways. Jumbling? Yeah, jumbling. There we go. Let's go through or not. Let's just roll into it. And I think this mystical little hallway of slight night time is a good place to end it here. So, my name's Bindaz, you don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.